this is not time for you to drink. So. Is this real water? Mm. Sorry. I'll take your time. Mm. Take your time. Also, everyone at home. Wait a minute, how is it I'm doing all the talking and you're thirsty? How did that happen? Girl, I'm fat, bitch. <laughs> no. no. I thought it was a filter. <laughs> Listen, I want everyone at home, if you asking yourself, damn, why is she sitting like a man? I don't know how you girls do it. This is uncomfortable. Hi, it's Bianca Del Rio, and welcome back to The Pit Stop, where we review all things RuPaul's Drag Race season 15. So I'm excited to have with us today her Pit Stop debut, a gal who came all the way from season 13, the producer herself, Miss Candy Muse. Ah! Hi! How are you? I'm good, but wait, bitch, because I came here specifically because I've been watching the last few Pit Stops. Uh -huh. Wear your black shoes. Black shoes? The little black sock shoes you've been wearing. Bitch, what are you talking about? Your toe surgery. I just had foot surgery. Are you sponsored by Payless now? Okay, li listen. Well, I had to go to Guatemala to get my toes pumped. You got a BBL on your feet? Yes! Uh, I had them pumped in Aruba. I recently came back from Paraguay. Paraguay, yeah, you've been to the doctor. What toe surgery? Where them heels came from? Girl, I have been wearing, what the f what the f have you been, <laughs> bitch, I've been wearing heels the entire season. Y'all at home know what I'm talking about. Where are her black shoes? I don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> Just amuse her till the officials get here. <laughs> Have you been, Candy? You know, I've been so good ever since my season. I've just been causing havoc all over the world. As you should. Yeah. You know, just being a f superstar. As you are. <laughs> and we are glad that you were here with us today. Thank you. I'm happy to be here with you. Now, the big question, have you been keeping up with this season? I have. You know, after you leave RuPaul's Drag Race, it's kind of hard to kind of keep up with the show. You're sure. busy, nonstop. Also, you're sub center, so you don't want to watch another bitch on television. Yeah, you don't care. But now here on 15, I am watching the girls. I'm enjoying the girls a lot. I know a few of them. So it's been an interesting season so far. Ooh, and I'm excited to have you here because I want to get your fresh take on your views and opinions. And you know, we're we're a couple of episodes in, and I have I have had many people say that I've been a little too nice. And I think now that we're whittled down to less contestants, it's an easier opportunity for me to be a well, you know? perfect, and I'm the nastiest bitch in the bunch. You so. see, that's why they brought us together. <laughs> I would say God, but I don't believe in that. <laughs> well, I don't. I mean, it's it's a bit much. I mean, not to get religious. Nobody religious is watching this, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Maybe the Mormons. Oh, God, they're so boring. So speaking of the girls, who are the ones that you know from this cast? So the girls that I know from the cast are Sasha, mm -hmm. Lux, uh -huh. Jax, God, there's a lot of bitches in there. There is. Mistress. Yes. Um, RuPaul. So I've noticed that you've been tweeting a lot online about the show. Are you ready to share your opinions today? Yes, yes, yes. And real quick, first and foremost, I want to talk to the girls of season 15. Talk to them. Stop explaining yourself to the public. Listen, I get it. It's a brand new platform that you're on, you're on television, yeah. and the whole world is watching you have opinions about you, but you're not gonna please everyone. You're never gonna be, you could be the ripest peach on the tree, and someone's still not gonna like peach. And don't play the victim. I'm so sick of the victim bull. And trust me, I'm not tweeting about it, but I'm talking about all of you behind your backs. Ain't that the <laughs> You should see some of my texts, bitch. Oh, girl, look at this, look at that. <laughs> all right, so let's get right to it. Now, last week was a group challenge, as you knew, and we had quite a few girls complaining about who got what group. What did you think about all that madness? I love to see the drama. I love girls. I want to see the girls fight. On my season, when we all wanted the same role, we would audition for it. Yeah. That's what you do in real life. If you, yeah. If you want something, you audition for it. So shockingly, Aura wins in that challenge, Good and point. we have to say goodbye to Robin Fierce which was heartbreaking, because I had said it before on here. I thought she was beautiful, and I just didn't see much of her. I did not see much of what was going on. So let's just say, fingers crossed, let's hope for all stars. Isn't that what everybody says? But I really didn't get to see much of her. Too. She is. She's the sweetest person. There they were in a group challenge, and I guess the question I have to ask you is, how do you feel about group challenges? On 13, we had a lot of challenges. Yeah. So you come to this competition to be your own person. Yeah. So when you have to rely on three other bitches, it's like, girl, come on. But sometimes I will say this, it's good because if the group up, you can be like, well, she was the leader. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And blame it all on the next bitch. It's all about blaming people, isn't it? Mm -hmm. 
All right, so the queens get back into the workroom and we're still seeing the fallout from Metalgate, as it was. And you see that Malaysia is a little upset after Untucked. Have you ever experienced a moment where you were upset coming from Untucked? No, back on my season, I kept it really cool. The entire season, me and the girls got along really well. Your imagination is running well. First of all, you said, where are your shoes? Where are your little black aqua socks? That is imagination, and this is more imagination, bitch. The tea is, sometimes, your feelings get hurt. Yeah. And, you know, you're in a pressure cooker. Yeah. You're in a competition, you don't have your phone, you don't have porn, you don't have friends. You don't have weed. You don't have anything. You have other cross-dressers who are there to fight for the same prize that you're fighting for. Yes, because it's what? A competition. A comp <laughs> this is a competition, and things got really real, and someone's going home this week. <laughs> that was beautiful. You say you're not an actress. That was divine. <laughs> what are your memories of your moment in Untucked with Tamisha Amman? <laughs> Ooh, I have heartburn, sorry. <laughs> When the episode first aired, I was just, I was cringing. I was yeah. like, cause I hate acting like that. And it was a moment, you know. It, it's, you had enough. It wasn't my proudest moment. Yeah. But once the show aired and I was nominated for an MTV award, that Untucked one, Untucked is very first Emmy award. Uh -huh. you, you went, know? I gave it, I gave it. You know, me and Timisha gave some good television, especially because those other bitches were being boring. And I was like, you know what? Like who really gets that upset? over someone being called arrogant. I want you to hold back. I really want you to hold back. So you sit back and look at her. Are you good with, with her now? Oh! Got it! All right! We can't say much more unless she has a lawyer present. Let me ask you, were you having flashbacks when Malaysia said, I said what I said? I was triggered because when Tamisha <laughs> said that, I wanted to walk across the room and just drag about her wig. <laughs> <laughs> it's not called a wig anymore. It's called a hair choice. Hair pieces. Hair choice. I hope it's just a bump in a row because I like those two, but then we're at this point in the competition where I'm feeling like maybe this is when the claws come out. This is when the bitches start shaking and getting insecure because we're like somewhat midway through. This is that moment where they start questioning themselves. Do you think that's playing into it? Do you think that Malaysia's just overreacting because she's nervous? Well, here's the tea. Let me ask you this. Tell me. Do you give a f about what anyone else has to say about you in the workroom? Girl, I never care about people in the real world that have something to f say about me. We're in a competition. We're in a competition. Are we in a competition? Only one bitch is gonna win. Yeah. Although I had a great time and made some great friends, yeah. friendships at that moment in the workroom were a priority. So if someone felt a type of way about whatever I said, well, you know what, we'll deal with it when all this is over. Right now I need to focus on what I need to focus on. Yeah. That is me. Yeah, and you lost. What do you think about the feeling in the workroom after their big fight? It's awkward as f Of course it is. There's so much tension because, remember, we're going back to the hotels and going to sleep, and you're sitting in those feelings and letting it bubble up. You're like, bitch, what I didn't say tonight, I'm going to tell you tomorrow morning, bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and then when you get there, you're like, oh, maybe it isn't that serious. <laughs> but, but it is. But it is in my mind. Yeah. So then Rue enters the room, drag queen in the striped pajamas, and she is there <laughs> to give them their challenge. And their challenge today is the Daytona Wins. Now, do you remember Daytona Wins from last season? I do, and it was, to me, the funniest acting challenge till this day. Girl, nothing's funnier than a fart. A fart is but unless you yourself, but that's a different bit. But the thing with the, you know what's happened. To, it happened to me once. It I was did. in the third grade. Tell us, tell us. I was in school in the Dominican Republic. Uh -huh. It was the third grade, mm -hmm. and I shit myself. Mm -hmm. um, and then my teacher, we had showers in school. My teacher had to shower me. Uh -huh. like a, and then you dated you know, the teacher. The <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and I had to go home with <laughs> pants. Oh. You know, if you would have told this story on Drag Race, you might have won. <laughs> Rue. I myself once. <laughs> All I remember from the Daytona wins was the farting, and that was truly yeah. the funniest thing. But then Ruby wants to switch it up, and it's no longer gonna be a soap opera, that it's actually gonna be a sitcom. So it's a sitcom format. Growing up, what was your favorite television show? Well, I grew up Mormon, so I no. I did. How do I not know this? Yeah, I was baptized at eight years old. In okay, church. yeah. So I was that before or after you yourself? That was... Actually, the same year. Oh, great. Busy year for you. <laughs> but I, was, I didn't grow up watching a lot of television. I was in that weird age range where TV was still black and white, and it was a different... It was static -y. It was static -y. yeah, yeah. There were so many things that I did like, but I always liked the older shows. So I come from the time where I loved The Golden Girls when it was actually airing. Oh, oh. Yeah, I'm oh, bitch. How, how old are you? I am 48. Oh, I'll be 48 in June. Yeah, how old are you? I'm 28. Really? So you're... 20, 20 years older. Wow. 
Wow. They don't have math in the Dominican Republic? No. <laughs> it took her a little too long to say 20. <laughs> so since Aura won last week, she's in charge of giving out the roles. Do you think this is a wise choice? Listen, I don't think Aura has made some of the smartest decisions in the competition thus yes. far. Giving people roles is a big job. Yeah. Because then you have to assign yourself a role. Sometimes it's okay not to be the lead role because sometimes, bitch, the lead role will land your ass in the bottom. Exactly. And also the expectations are really high because they're expecting a lot from you. What do they always say? We want to see more. We want to see more. Mm -hmm. And the thing is with it, it's a lot of weight. And I don't know if Aura is right for the lead role of fancy. Well, and as we saw, mm, problematic. Spoiler. I am a Mistress Isabel Brooks stan. I am too! I love the fact that she is old school and cutthroat. Yeah. And that it is a joke and she is having a good time, but I thought the way she weaseled her way into getting that role was the right way to handle it. Mm -hmm. You know, rather than say, I want it, I want it, she just stated the faults that lie within Aura and said, maybe someone else should play it. Well, why don't you play it? <gasps> Me? I Me? couldn't imagine! Ooh, I love a shady bitch, I really do. And she gives in, she gives in. And you see yeah. the other girls rolling their eyes like, mm, Cause they all wanted the role and didn't get it. Exactly, but do you think Mistress is gonna do good in this role? I think so. Yeah? She reminds me of me. Anytime I did an acting challenge, besides the last one, I was in the top four. One thing girls forget to do is play it stupid. Yes! It's a fake world, set, plot, Storyline. So, hey, Storyline, yeah. something yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a fake role, play it stupid, you know? Cause girls are too caught up on being so pretty and playing it. Girl, just have a good time. And I think because she's so old school and seasoned, yeah. she's able to do that. Now Aura's threatening to sabotage people, girl. Listen, karma's a bitch. And she's also only been sabotaging herself. Now look, she's getting high and mighty cause she was number one last week. And I'm curious to see just how this is all gonna fall apart because she wasn't adamant about keeping the role and I don't think that she could have delivered on the way that Mistress was. So I thought maybe in that moment her choices were right. So really she kind of herself. I think right now she's riding the high horse of I won last week, but girls need to go into every single week like it's a brand new week and you did not win the week prior because bitch, it might come to bite you in the ass. So the best part about all of this madness is Malaysia and Mistress now have to work together in this scene. A majority of the scene is the two of them. Now they're not talking. They mad. Do you think this is gonna help them or you think it's gonna make it worse? I hope it makes it worse. Yeah. <laughs> I wanna see the girls suffer, burn it to the ground. <laughs> so now we got Jax, who was all set about taking the role of Jackson, saying, this role is so me. This role is about a stoner. This person is something I can identify with. Do you think it's good to do something that is so you or do something out the box? No, I was told a lot on my season to Switch it up. Don't do the same character all the time. Yeah. Olivia, a lot of the girls actually on my season were told, yeah. girl, don't get comfortable. Switch it up. Yeah. Give me, give me something new. Give me. Give... You know, so it's a stretch for you to get to perform and play. Like you said, yeah. if you're playing and you're having a good time, try something different. You know, at exactly. least you know you made the effort. And clearly she made no effort. <laughs> Tell me how you really feel. <laughs> Tell me how you really feel. <laughs> So this year's Daytona Wins, the sitcom, is featuring a lot of prostitutes and big daddies. You notice that, right? Mm -hmm. Do you think that they took inspiration from your life? <laughs> I did a little prostitution at some point in my life. Did you? For a few weeks. And how was it? Did you quit on your own or was it people just saying, stop doing this? <sighs> it was very that, it was the latter. <laughs> it was very that. <laughs> it was the latter. I was like, I have to find a new career. Here we are, drag queens. <laughs> So the biggest shocker of this episode, and you and I both gasped when we saw this, mm -hmm. is that Rutal himself is directing the episode. Do you think that added extra pressure to these queens? Absolutely. <laughs> RuPaul is sitting right in front of you. Right. So if you fuck up, she's gonna remember. Exactly. I mean, normally it's like Michelle or Carson or, or possibly the hilarious Ross Matthews. Well, Michelle, you're just like, girl, I can win her over. But right, don't right. you? <laughs> RuPaul is like, bitch, She's the host. She's gonna be like, girl, goodbye. And the decision is what? Hers, Hers to make. make. Marsha and Anitra were amazing. They were really good. Amazing. And here it was, they weren't the leads in the scene, but they were working well with each other. And I must applaud the two of them. I thought they did an amazing job. But that's an example of you don't have to be the lead role to nope. be the winner. Nope. Nope, I thought they were great. They worked well together, they did the job, and I thought they were really, really funny. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, girl, the thing that's the most laughable is that we're watching Aura struggle. You surprised by this? Listen, I know Aura personally. Yeah. She's a great performer back in, um, she's from Nashville. She's a great performer back in Nashville. Yeah. I think she's a sweetheart. 
So you're gonna say something mean so right now. Something mean. You're gonna say something mean because I see I you're just, setting it up uh -huh, with. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I don't think her best is coming out in the competition, unfortunately, and she is struggling a lot yeah. in this role. Mm -hmm. So now imagine her as a lead role. Mm -hmm. I think she made the right choice by giving it to Mistress. I oh, do. Yeah. It is challenging when you're up there. Like she couldn't get the quote right, which is any hole. Is a goal. A goal. Which I don't think she realized that they were drag race quotes <laughs> that she was reading off. You think? <laughs> 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 yeah, I don't think she got it either, but she wasn't the only one. I don't think Jax got the idea that party was from a door. Like, who doesn't know that? Rigor Morris is from Alyssa. Exactly. So, Daytona win happens. Who were your favorites? Malaysia, mm -hmm. Mistress. Uh -huh. Anitra and... Marsha, 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 That was a lot of Marshas. It's a lot. Who is the worst? Jax. Yeesh. Aura. Mm -hmm. The rest we can't remember. I can't remember the rest. Exactly. This is the one episode we didn't see much of Lux, and I gotta say, I'm not mad at her. <laughs> <laughs> I love her, but she doesn't shut the f up. She reminds me of me. Yeah, she does. <laughs> <laughs> you see yourself in her. A lot. <laughs> uh, I was once too that skinny. Oh, really? No. Another... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, we did not see much of Sasha, Lux, or Lucy in the episode, so I think it's kind of unfair to judge their performance, but I thought yeah. they were there. I mean, they, 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 they served the purpose. And I was shocked because Lucy is a comedy queen. Yeah. And she... She was there. I was missing the fun of it, but they were definitely adequate. Yeah. They were. And I mean, hopefully they'll have an opportunity to shine in the next episode. Or right? not. <laughs> I'm trying to be nice. And what did you think about the Danny Trejo cameo at the end? Okay, I gagged because I remember watching him in Spy Kids. Yes. When I was younger. Yes. Or in that one movie uh, with Gaga, Is It Machete? Um, something like that, I don't know, it's whatever. Got it, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I thought he was adorable, and I loved all of his little one lines coming uh -huh. in and out was brilliant. I loved the Vanjie one, really got me. I lived. Really got me, it was good, I enjoyed it. That man was probably so lost. <laughs> but he did the job! He didn't know the jokes, but he did the, take note, bitches, that's how you do it, yes. Now I'm gonna ask you, who do you think is gonna take the top prize from this, judging from the episode? I think right now, well, I don't think. Didn't we already watch the episode? Well, I mean, you're watching it. Oh, we're watching as we're going? <laughs> that is your opinion <laughs> of the episode, okay. of the Daytona <laughs> win. <laughs> Who do you think? I would pick between Malaysia and yeah. Mistress. Yeah, agreed. I thought I thought that uh, Malaysia did an amazing job, and just she deserves an Emmy for that door slam, bitch. I was cackling. So now we get to the runway. Our runway challenge is Puffer, please. They're getting very creative with this. Puffer, please. Puffer, please. Do you like this category? Yeah. Being from New York City, we wear a lot of puffer coats. You have to. Winter, so, you know, I'm excited to see what the girls bring. And what would you have done on the runway? I would have done, I don't know, that's a loaded question. Well, give me your description of what you would have done. Okay, if I would have done something, I would have worn an outfit mm -hmm. with puffers on it. Uh-huh. And I would have walked down the runway uh -huh. and then walked back. What? Now you see, that's how you deliver a runway look. What do you want? What have? <laughs> what? What would you have worn? What would I have worn? What I would have worn? You know what I would have worn? The this same boat neck dress that I wore every episode in a puffer fabric. In a puffer, but puffer fabric is listen. If it's not done well, it yeah. can be misshaped. If you do like a panty in a puffer form, it can look like a diaper. Uh, why are you looking at me when you say diaper? Mm. How old are you? Uh, 58. 58, and you're 28. How many years is that? 30. You're doing good! Ah! <laughs> All right, Miss Candy Muse, are you ready to discuss looks? Let's. Do it. Let's do it. <laughs> let it out, bitch! Okay, let it out! Like, wait. <laughs> you can curse. <laughs> you can do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Here we go. Miss Lucy LaDuca. Okay, I'm gonna start off with something that I like. Okay. Her shape is wild. It's gorgeous. It's, it's gorgeous. It's really good. Yes, it looks good. I don't like Bordello shoes. Okay. But also they only- Oh, they are you go, wearing a Bordello? I am wearing them, but they go up to a size 16. I'm not a fan of this. I don't like it. I, I think it, I think the puffer coat looks like an after. 
Afterthought. That's what it is. It doesn't look like it's cohesive enough for me. Yeah. I don't want to see you in a Ghostbusters remake. I don't. I don't. I don't care about that. I don't want. But see I guess she thought, in her defense, Puffer, the big puffy thing in Ghostbusters. Oh. Are you just getting it now? Okay, I like it now. Okay. They'll fix this in post. They'll fix this in post. <laughs> Next up is Miss Spice. It's a cute, kind of clueless, snowbirdy look. Very like snow cabin. Yep. Cute. It's she looks cute. gorgeous. It, she looks gorgeous, cute. It's nothing out of the ordinary, yeah. nothing crazy. I've seen it before. Yeah, I don't see much puff going on, but at least it's a winter look. Honestly, I feel like she can never look bad. Yeah. She's a tiny little twink. Do you ever say that about me? Next up, we have Miss Sasha Colby. Oh my God. Hands down the best look of the night. I did enjoy the look. I do love yellow and black. I don't know if you know. I, yes, yes. I do know that. I wish I would've saw more of her in the episode. So this, this is a win. This is a no brainer. She never misses on the runway for me. She's no, that's always... great. I mean, I just wish I would've seen more of her in the Daytona win, but this look is a win. Oh yeah. Win, win, win. Yep, agreed. Lux Noir London. I like this. What I found funny was the description. Jackie O okay. was her description. I'm getting more Fifth Element. I mean, I get the pillbox hat, which is like the little nod to Jackie O. Oh, God, that, that is so little. I can't even see that. <laughs> I thought it was an OK look. Uh, she seems to like pink a lot. Um, it's I like fine. It. I it's like fine. the color pink on her skin tone. Like I yeah. said, it's very Fifth Element. Yeah. It rem I know exactly what it reminds me of. Please tell us. Season 13. Mm-hmm. Episode 4. Mm-hmm. The Bag Ball. Mm -hmm. Simone's executive look. But well, let me ask you this. She's also been accused of using a lot of looks that look similar to things that other people have already worn. Girl, it's okay. L you know why it's, it's... You don't think it's a problem? No, because I'm screenshotting a lot of y'all bitches stuff and sending it to my designer. But what? I'm having this dress made next week. Oh, you are? Mm -hmm. It's been, All you gotta do is just take a bolt of fabric, wrap it around the refrigerator, and put a zipper. That's literally what this is. Next up is our favorite from the challenge, Miss Malaysia Baby Doll Fox. Okay, first off, Love the hair. The hair's gorgeous. I love a good beehive moment. Mm -hmm. And up to yep. live. Especially mm -hmm. on big girls, love it. Yep. My issue is, is the fact that it's on a white fabric. Ah, true, true, true. I, I see what you're saying. You know, if it wasn't on white, then it would be perfect. It's a little daytime look. And now we've come to Aura. Didn't do well in the challenge. And then she's gonna serve this look. Sometimes you have a really bad week. <laughs> And I love the sleeves. Mm -hmm. Kind of in a kimono-y kind of way, and yeah. the little obi that she's wearing. That belt, it did nothing for her. I don't know if it was supposed to be like a cincher, or it, it did nothing for her body. It just didn't have any body to it. I love the pageantry, as you said, of the sleeves, and I thought that was kind of a great look, but really the whole outfit was just sleeves and not much else. And next we have Jax. It's a no for Hated me. it! Hated it. I hate everything about this. I don't know what the f it is. It makes no sense to me. The wig don't go with it. And I like her. I just did not like the outfit at all. And she loves gray tones. I don't get it. Pe that sucks the life out of you. Put some color on. I just didn't like the outfit. I liked the bitch, but I didn't like the outfit. But she turned it with that lip sync. I need you to help me here because I feel like I'm being a little harsh. Okay. So I'm going to ask you, is there anything that you liked about the outfit to buffer this moment? You know what? I like the construction of the coat. It was like a a, a, a B. Ooh, that was good. The construction. Because you're saying something, but you're saying well, nothing. You're <laughs> the little B, like a little uh, um, a hornet, if you will. Yes, uh, if you will, a hornet. The silhouette gives me hornet. <laughs> I like the silhouette. Yeah, I got it. The coat. Can you spell silhouette? C. <laughs> Costa Rica school system. <laughs> Next up is our girl, Mistress Isabel Brooks. Okay, I'm torn. Love her, love the performance. Not a fan of this outfit. I love the upper part of it. I don't like the color combination so much. And I hate, I despise a bucket hat. I just don't like the bucket hat with it. Like if it was maybe no hat, I would say. I don't like mind it. I, mm, I don't know. It just looks like uh, a mess. I like the pink lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> not a mess. Well, I mean, it's just like, it's, like it's, it's not a clear thought. Don't you agree? I disagree. Chaps, bell bottom, bra, belt, bucket hat, and little shrug. I didn't say it was a good thought. <sighs> Case in point. I think the one thing that you and I can both agree on is the mistress paint. I do love it. It's I, paint. I met her in person and it's like a filter. Love it. Next, we have Miss Anitra. 
Love, love, love. Love, love, love. And it's so simple. It is very simple. Color combination is absolutely fabulous. Talk about a face that's painted. I like that. And it's simple yet effective. Yeah, she looks gorgeous. She's gorgeous. And she's a gorgeous boy. Next is Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Now, I have been giving this bitch grief because some of her outfits I thought were just, mm. I even made the comment that it was off the rack. And she had a funny tweet where she was like, that means I did good if it's off the rack, that I made it myself so it was polished. Fine. This, I thought, was a stretch for her. She's wearing more makeup. I'm happy to see it. I thought it was a cute look. So you like the leg warmers or the chops? What are, what are those? For her, I think this is probably the most costumey thing she's worn so far. Bitch, she came out as a Tin Man a few weeks ago. I see <laughs> this as more of a costume. I thought I liked this for her. I thought it's fine. The, the, the all white, I think on the main stage, it washes out on Drag Race. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But her face looks gorgeous now. Yeah, she, she had a little makeup on. Apply more makeup. Miss Selena Estiri. No. Esti. Okay. Okay. No. Okay. No sugar coated. So there's nothing redeeming no. about the look. Nothing. And then she lifts the jacket up. Uh huh. It has Cheetos in her. <laughs> no. You've never had Cheetos in your. I got Cheetos. Okay, but I'm looking at this look, and I gotta say, it's not my favorite look, and I do struggle with her. I think the taste level is questionable sometimes. You know, like, when she, like, made her outfit in the Janelle Monae lip sync, yeah. that moment, I thought she looked great. I thought it was an ugly <laughs> outfit. I thought it was ugly. I hated that outfit more than I hate this one. No, I don't like this because she bought this from home. What's your favorite look? Um, 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 Sasha. Ah, Hands Sasha. Hands down, Sasha. Okay. Least favorite look? Selena. Selena, all right. Well. Selena, I'm gonna give Jax a pass. Sasha and Anitra at the top for me, and then I'll give a nod to Marsha for her, because she did well for her. For her. Because I've been ragging on her the whole time. Like, that's okay, a stretch okay, for her. Okay. I thought, you know what, that's a, good, that's a good look for her. So then we find out that this week's winners is Mistress Isabel Brooks. Do you agree? Our winner. Oh, right, she did, yeah, she did. Our winner from the challenge. Yeah, I was Mistress like, for some reason I thought. Isabel, your friend. <laughs> oh my God, Mistress won. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm so happy. Good for Mistress, honestly. Yeah. I thought she was great. It's her first win. It is her first win. Yes. And here we are, the final two in the bottom. Jax, who's been there before, and Aura. Ooh. Listen, I know a thing or two about being in the bottom a few times. I was in the bottom, what, four times in my season? <laughs> How many times? Mm -hmm. Four. Uh, listen, I only was, I, <laughs> listen. <laughs> Tell I only, me what you want. Tell me what you want. Listen, I only <laughs> lost one lip sync out of seven, so. I, wait, 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 you lip sync seven times? It was a weird season. Girl, do you agree? that Jackson or belong in the bottom. Well, I would have put Selena in the bottom just for that look. <laughs> you hate her. No, I don't hate her. I think yeah. she's great. So Aura and Jax lip sync to Sweetest Pie by Megan Thee Stallion and Dua Lipa. Ooh, good song, huh? Sweetest Pie. Isn't that a good lip sync song? It's a really good song. Yeah. And it has a lot of words. <laughs> so now, was Jax doing stunts because she didn't know the words? But it made up for it. It's it. If you don't know the words, flip, bitch. Flip! That's what you do. <laughs> It did, it did. Yeah, I thought it was good. I thought it was highly entertaining. I'm not a big fan of all the stunts, but I thought her stunts made sense and it was a little cohesive and it kind of overshadowed, kind of. What am I saying? It totally overshadowed. Yeah. Her and you know performance. what? Sometimes when you're on that stage and the other bitch is mopping the floor with you, it's just like, girl, I need to accept defeat because. It is what it is. It is what it is. I ain't gonna win. I'm taking your word for it because I have no idea what that feels like. Or you never lip synced. Mm -mm. Girl, I knew Aura was in trouble when she started doing the duck walk, or as, or as Aja quotes it, noging. The no yeah, I was like, ooh, Molly, you in danger. I will stop doing that <laughs> dance right now. Stop it! They stop come it! For line, They're girl. gonna come for you with the Nogan moment. <sighs> Miss Aja is gonna come and get, and you saw Miss Aja post it. To quote Aja, not every drag performer is an entertainer. Whatever Which is that funny, means. if you look up the word performer, it's to entertain. So she's working on it. She's working on it. Yeah. <laughs> she's working on it. <laughs> so there it is. Aura's got to walk away. So what'd you think of that exit line that Aura had? I honestly can relate, because my father is also dead. Did she say haunt or hunt? Either way, the dad's coming back to catch your ass, bitch. <laughs> Who is gonna go all the way? Who would be your top four today? Woo! Today, mm -hmm. I would say Mistress. Gotcha. Anitra. Mm-hmm. 
We haven't seen much of her, but I know she can deliver Sasha. Okay. Baby Doll Fox? Yep. I think she can go up, 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 up. My bet is on Anitra. Ooh. I think it's gonna be Anitra. Well, <laughs> it has been a pleasure having you here with me today, Miss Candy Muse, the producer herself. Thank you for joining us here at the Pit Stop. Did you have a good time? I had such a great time. I cannot wait to come back next week and host the Pit Stop. So I hope you enjoyed your job thus far. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Keep it in the comments. Nonetheless, we thank you for joining us today for the Pit Stop. And make sure you catch us next week where we recap another episode of all things RuPaul's Drag Race season 15. See you soon. It's like having sex with somebody ugly. You just close your eyes, wish it well, and do the deed. Or sometimes eyes open is fine. Really? Yeah. Yeah, they probably f it from the back, so they're not even ah, looking at you, ah, unless you got ah, eyes in the back of your head. That's a whole nother girl, thing. Girl, you should have seen me last night. What happened? Ooh. Oof. Girl, I was head over burners. Mm. Oof. <laughs> we'll have <a> later. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? What, what's scary is that we're in the same hotel and they told me, I don't know, it's construction. <laughs> That's what I thought I heard. Oh, hey, everybody, it's Michelle Visage. Do you want Emmy-nominated gay <laughs> Well, then subscribe to RuPaul's Drag Race on YouTube.